Hey guys, welcome to a paint with me using my watercolor brush set volume one for Procreate. Link is in the description. So I'm going to start out by just getting a reference photo from unsplash.com or pixabay.com. Going to use it more so for colors and just to get the shape of the ice cream cone. If you're unfamiliar with what I just did, I just hit the wrench and turned on the reference photo and then just imported it in from my saved files. We're also going to use that same photo to create a color palette. So go up to your swatches, hit the plus sign to create a new palette, choose new from photos, and there you go. I'm going to lay down a base with a really light tan color. And then I'm going to grab the wet on dry brush and just start sketching out a shape. The key to using the wet on dry is to try to get as much down as you can in one stroke. Once you lift up the pencil and start going over it, it looks like wet on dry watercolor. So you'd have to blend it. But um, with this, I'm going to just try to get a shape down and fill it in. And you just keep moving your pencil around. If you hold it down too long, it's going to create a perfect shape unless you turn the perfect shape off. So as you can see here with this line that I'm creating on purpose, I have lifted the pencil up. So now it's, it's got a darker color on top and we're just going to make the cone look like it wraps here. Okay, now for the fun part. So we go up to our layers and we're going to select the cone. Select, now it's selected. Now I'm going to pick the wet on wet blend brush and a darker color. It's best if you make this, make a new layer and draw on the new layer, but I did not do that. So pick a dark color and just blend until your heart's content. Overlay and make it look like real watercolor. All right, now I'm going to grab that really light color again that I first used and the wet on dry opaque brush. And we're gonna make a new layer on top and make this one a clipping mask. And this is where we're gonna paint lines for the cone. And we're just doing this in a simple stylistic manner. Not trying to make it look really realistic. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So now I'm gonna make another layer on top and grab a pink and we're gonna go on in and start making the ice cream. I chose the wet on wet blend, but you can choose whatever you like. This one's a little more forgiving and you can lift up your pencil and then put it back down. And the longer you hold it, the more it blends out. It's a pretty fun one to play with. This one is new to my collection that I've just added recently. If there's a hard line that you really don't like, you can just go up to the smudge tool and then grab the blender brush and you can blend those hard lines. I'm 
I'm going to purposefully just make some darker parts. So I'm going to keep using that wet on wet and make shadows and a little bit of texture. So as you can see, I grabbed a really bright red, but when you use it with the wet on wet brush, it comes out very transparent and muted. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors. I ended up going back and selecting the cone again with the wet on wet and making it a little bit darker. I just felt like it needed more shadows. So just keep painting until you feel that it has enough shadows and contrast. Okay, so now make another layer on top and we're going to use whatever brush you feel comfortable using. And we're going to draw in some garnishes, leaves, and they're going to be a bit transparent, but if you feel like you can, you want them a little bit darker, you can always duplicate the layer and then merge them together. And I'm going to use that same trick that we did before where you select the layer and then you use the wet on wet and you can use the same color or a darker one and just paint to make some shadows. Okay, now I'm just going to move this over to the left and I'm going to group the cone pieces together and I'm just going to duplicate them to make two more cones and then we'll make separate ice cream tops so they look slightly different and they have different colors. Just follow the same steps as before and choose a different color, use your wet on wet and start making the tops. Okay, so an interesting thing I'm going to try with this yellow cone is I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go down and use one of my watercolor stamps and just stamp around until I get the right size and the right texture inside of it. So it looks like 
little sprawling pools of watercolor. Okay, for this garnish, I'm going to use the opaque watercolor brush. It's good for stems and leaves, and it's a little bit darker. Also for the leaves, I like to set my brush around like 30, 33%. Not too small, not too big. I'm going to just speed through the rest of the painting until we get to the garnish on the last one. And I have to make it my signature color, which is always blue instead of purple. So at this point I realized that these berries have a frosted white center look to them so I am going to just cover this up and redo them a little bit. I'm going for a very loose watercolor style, but I did notice all the cones look too similar. So I'm going to change them up a little bit and fix them so they look a little different. Okay, now to play. We're going to give it some texture. So I'm going to use the pink and one of the drip stamps and just play with the size and can erase some of it and just put it wherever you want it on the background or on the ice cream cones themselves.
Okay, so I also experimented with some little splatters in the background. And now we are going to make the paper texture. So you pick a gray. And go up to the rough paper and then just paint on the largest brush size one time paint the entire thing and then you're going to change that layer to blend mode to linear burn and you make sure that it's at the very top and then if it's not rough enough for you you can duplicate it and then pinch the layers together but one should be good enough or you can paint with a little bit darker gray and that also makes it look rougher And that wraps it up. Make sure you sign your artwork and tag me on Instagram at stortdesigns so I can see what you made. See you later.